Hello, I'm Martin Skelton and welcome to SOLIDWORKS in 3 minutes. We're looking at sheet metal feature of Sketch Bane. We start off top plane, sketch, and draw down our center rectangle. We'll say 100 millimeters and we'll say 50 millimeters. We say sheet metal base and we just leave it at the 2. 2 millimeters, no other settings. Surface, top surface, sketch. Draw line, has to be a solid line. Add it in, we'll say 30 millimeters. I always like to define the lines at both sides, but for our sketch bend, it doesn't have to be directly in the middle. Close that sketch. We want to take that sketch, keep it highlighted, say sketch bend. It's asking for our flat surface, which we're saying is the largest piece. As you can see, the bend happens direct. So we have center bend, either side of the line, and an offset if required. We'll say center. We will leave our K factor at 0 0.5. I always add these custom bend allowances. We close that. File, flatten. You can see the bend flattens out, so it's a proper sheet metal flat part. If we want to add to this component, we can add in another tab, Let's say from that point up and we'll say 10 mil tick and we'll put down the tab as a 50 mil tab sheet metal sketch tab merge file sketch bend chop down from the top 20 millimeters with an 8 mil line chop it 1 mil from the side File, cheap metal, sketch bend. This is our main. So as you can see, this is our piece there, so 45, and add the custom bend allowance, K factor, close. So we say sketch again, top face, normal two, sketch, draw our line. So that line is an eight mil. We'll drop it in one mil from the edge. 65 mil and then we go file sketch bend once again this is our main part we'll and just leave it at the 90 but obviously you can set and there is our sketch bend this has been another solidworks in three minutes there's more long form content on my channel please like and subscribe if you're getting value till the next time